West New York, it's the Mike and Tony Show. Mike and Tony's guests this evening are the not-so-great Santini with product development, Dr. Johnson. And also we have Aunt Millie and Sal Manila. They'll be doing something from Aunt Millie's cookbook. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Mike Tedesco. We have some good news for you tonight. I just got a phone call uh, from uh, Detective Stradivarius. Uh, he's at the airport. He says that Tony's coming in tonight. He should be here before the show is over. As a matter of fact, uh, he should be here in just a few minutes, I, I believe. And so uh, we're going to have him here later. Right now, we're going to go to product development with uh, Dr. Johnson. Uh, Dr. Johnson, come out of here. Okay, Dr. Johnson, what do you have for us this week? Okay, this week we've got the Mike and Tony Spaghetti and Meatball in a Box. Uh, the Mike and Tony Spaghetti and Meatball in a Box. This is, uh, this is a great item. Now, how is this heated up, uh, Dr. Johnson? Automatically, it's already heated. You just put it right in the microwave? Mm -hmm. No, you just throw it right on the plate. You just throw it right on the plate. So in other words, this box, you just squeeze this box and it gets hot? Right. So it's hot right now. This right. is the new, uh, the latest uh, development from uh, the uh, product development right here at the Mike and Tony Show. This is also going to be on our uh, network, isn't it? Yeah, on the Home Shopping On the Home Shopping Network, you're going to be able to find all of the products, including our water, our gum, and our Mike and Tony cigars. So uh, why don't you just pull that right out here, uh, okay. Doctor, and let's see what it looks like. All right. Let's see if it's open. Watch out. You don't uh, burn yourself there, Doctor. With the... Uh, Very good. Whoa. It's a Very good. Yeah, with the, Look oh, at the that. Fork and, uh, Is this? there a spoon in there, too? There uh, should be a spoon. Each box comes with a... <laughs> There's a spoon. Spoon and fork. Very okay. good. You just stuff so this. everything is, uh, here it is. Spaghetti. Mike and Tony's spaghetti and meatballs. Spaghetti and meatballs. Now, if you eat it, you eat Mike and Tony, how, oh, mm. oh, eh? how was that? That's pretty good. Very good, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Johnson One more thing. Product Development. If you come up with four proofs of purchase, you get free tongs. Free tongs with your uh, spaghetti and meatball. Very good. Thank you, Dr. Johnson. Do you mind if I finish that for you? Very good. Go ahead. Again. Very good. We're going to be right back. Maybe not. Bring that over to Tommy Carrasco. So how's your cousin's new car? Oh, yeah. Yeah, my cousin's new car. Yeah. He picked it up last week. All right. Big celebration. Yeah? I felt like a jerk telling him he should take a taxi home because he had one too many. But you did. No, I didn't. What happened? Totaled. What? Yeah, and him with it. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Take the keys. Call a cab. Take a stand. Friends don't let friends drive drunk. How you doing, gang? Why don't you just come on down to 67th Street and Bergen Line Avenue, October 3rd. Voices is going to be here live doing the show. There's no admission charge. Don't miss it. Voices right here, 67th, Bergen Line Avenue, the Mike and Tony Show. Voices, come on down. There's no charge to get in. See you then. You don't want to miss it. Just right, the Mike and Tony Show, 6701 Bergen Line Avenue, West New York, New Jersey, 07093. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you've heard of the great Houdini? Well, this isn't him. This is the almost as great Sardini right here. Let's hear it. Thank you. I give all my illusions names, and I call this one, can you hear me? And I call this one the hand, 
is faster than the eye. And it's true. That's why there's so many black eyes. I'll do it again one more time, a little slower. Some people think that I put this little rag right here in my sleeve, but I don't. Some people think I stick it in between the fingers. No way, Jose. I'll do it again one more time. Wow. I'm the best in the country. I'm not too good in the city, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm pretty good in the country. Now, my next illusion doesn't have a name. I only call it an illusion because to me, that's what it looks like. <laughs> I call it an illusion because that's what it looks like. All right. And, and now I'm going to do, um, this is called real magic. Because to me it looks like real magic. I'm going to do it down here on a tripod. Come out. I'll do it again one more time. Come out. <laughs> I'll show you how it's done in slow motion. I let go of the left hand completely. Then I come over here with my finger and I pull it fast. Uh. But I mean I pull it real fast. <laughs> now watch it again in fast. Come out. Did you see it? No. That's because I lied. I saw a guy in the street once, he, uh, he saw a guy playing a guitar, he had a guitar case out looking for money, he gave him a dollar, that's what he did. He put a dollar down, he said, here, the guy said, thank you, then he went, <laughs> I have a string on my dollar, touch it. <laughs> Do the same thing in a restaurant, you say, here's a dollar tip, he say, thank you, then go, so much for that. <clears throat> did, did you get my name right? Sardini. <laughs> Sounds like Houdini, but it's Sardini. I give all my illusions names and I call this one tax time because it reminds me of paying my taxes. I take about 8% tax. To me, that looks like 8%. Maybe more, I don't know. And then I take it off and I throw it away. But in reality, I don't pay no tax. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> There you go. I brought my whole family here to cheer me. <laughs> okay. Can you see that? I call this inflation. It's a small little penny. And I call it inflation because phew, looks like inflation. It's soft. Sounds, it sounds like it's hard. But it's soft. If you put it over here, it'll disappear. And it'll wind up right here. Watch it again. Check that out. You got any change? Okay, what should I do next? So much for that. <laughs> you can twirl it around. You can make little noises with it. You could play pool with it. You could fight the bad guys with it. And then we could set it right over here for a few moments. So far you've been watching Illusion Sleight of Hand. I am now going to perform a miracle. I'm going to put this coin, Kennedy half dollar, right inside this bottle. This is glass, GL glass. But I'm not going <laughs> But I'm not going to put it in this hole. It's too easy for me. I'm going to do it the hard way. 
through the back, where there ain't no hole, right through there. Would anybody like to, where's, I would, I'd like somebody to come up here and feel this bottle and check out my articles. Yeah. <laughs> and, and what's your name? Joe. Can you turn around and face the camera? Is that a real bottle? Yeah. How about the coin? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hold the bottle like this. No, no, put your hand over there like that. Good. Now I'm going to take the coin and hit it in the bottle. Hit it in the bottle real hard like that. So don't drop the bottle because the bottle costs 105 bucks. <laughs> okay. Would you like to feel the bottle in the coin? That's glass, all right. How about the coin? Check it out. That's real, all right. No, 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 don't hide. <laughs> don't hide the bottle and don't hide the coin. Look what I'm doing. Okay, you ready? Hold the bottle tight. Don't, don't drop the bottle. Okay, here it goes. Didn't work. Didn't work. <laughs> Didn't work. Let me drop that out. Now it worked. <laughs> All right. You want to check it out? There's only one way to take it out. Got to break the bottle. That's the hard part. Should I break it? Nah, leave it in. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Um, can I burn a cigarette? I did all that. What's your name? Joe. Joe? Joe. Where are you from? West, West New York. West New York. Is this your first time out here? <laughs> yeah. At the Mike and Tony show? Yeah. It is? Well, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Cheer for the great Sardini! <laughs> Hi, gang. Want to come on down here to the Mike and Tony show October 3rd for the best of rock and roll. We got voices here. There's no admission charge. Come on down. You don't want to miss voices. 6701 Bergen Line Avenue, West New York, October 3rd. Be here. Thank you. Thank you. We're here with the uh, not so great Sartini. Uh, he's, uh, am I saying it right? Sardini. Sardini, I'm sorry. Uh, Sardini is, uh, he's on tour. He just came back from Vegas. We got him through a mutual friend out of the city just for the night. So he came, he agreed to do the show. Yes, I and did. And I understand you have another little trick for us? Yes, I do. I have this uh, called penetration. I'm oh, that's a put, trick. <laughs> gonna put this cigarette right through this quarter. Okay, I'm ready. Would you like to examine it? Yeah, that's real. And the quarter? That's real too. Okay. Now, this is how it works. And it just goes right down, huh? It's supposed to, but it ain't working too right. You try it. Push, uh -huh. push it down inside. Oh, almost that time. Ah. Well, I'll do it. <clears throat> Can you see it? Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah, I almost had it, but not like that much. No, that's it. It's going. <whistles> it's going. If you roll it down. That's, that's the great sartini for you. And if you look at the quarter, you that's, check it out. That's the quarter. You know, you, you, you're able to do so much. There's something I need to ask you. Yes. Could you help me find Tony? Do yes. you think in your bag of tricks over there, do you think you could get Tony for us? Yes, that's you could quite, bring him back. quite possible, yes. Could we go right now and yes, give it a try? Yes, let's go. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the great Sartini is going to try to materialize Tony so that we can get him right back here for us. All right. Okay, here we go. We're going to find the great Sartino is going to... What is it? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He's going to... Okay, do you think you can help us out? Sure. Do you think you got him? You could get something. You could get us out of your, your bag there. Maybe you can bring Tony back. I'll try. Go ahead. I think I'm seeing him over here a little in the air. 
I think I got a piece of him. I think I see him too. Look! I see him too. Give him a good hand. He got Tony. Give him a Thank good you. hand. Oh, we're going to go to a commercial. Something happened. We'll be right back. For free tickets to our show, just write The Mike and Tony Show, 6701 Bergen Line Avenue, West New York, New Jersey, 07093. Okay, thank you. For tonight's show, we're going to do an old family recipe that's been handed down from generation to generation called Chicken Cacciatoni. And uh, with us here tonight is the one who taught me personally, our Aunt Millie. So let's have a round of applause and we'll bring Aunt Millie out. Oh, there you go. I was just, I was just throwing it. I can't find it. Your straw oh. went down. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like Aunt Millie's been at the bar with the guys for a little while. We was watching rugby in there. We was watching rugby. Those guys are good. They're very funny. Rugby. Guys. This is Monday Night Football tonight. Oh, we call it rugby. We call it rugby. It's okay, Aunt nice. Millie. I want you to just uh, guide us through step by step with your famous chicken cacciatoni recipe. We're going to find Tony with this recipe. Ooh, okay. that's hot. Okay. Yep, you don't want to burn yourself there. Alcohol. <laughs> Woo. Oh, okay. look. Okay. Look. They put this in it. <laughs> All right. The the first thing we want to do, we got the oil nice and hot like you taught me. Yes. And we're going to add some peppers. Yes, my right. straw is gone again. And some onion. We'll find that later. Don't worry about it. That's right. Put it in there. Okay. And a little garlic. Little garlic. A little little garlic. Okay. Atta boy. Atta boy. Oh, you almost forgot the mushrooms. The mushrooms. The mushrooms. Okay, now we'll stow that up. This is a good drink they made. Who yeah, made I know, that? but we're here to make the chicken cacciatoni tonight, Aunt Millie. Good. Chicken cacciatoni? Didn't they tell you you were coming on? <laughs> Didn't they tell you you were coming on the that air with rugby. me? That rugby was never ended, that rugby. The football, you mean? The football rugby. Okay, whatever. <laughs> All right, all right. You know you're not supposed to smoke in the kitchen. I never do. Okay. <laughs> Now, do we put this, uh, do we cook sure. the whole chicken? Uh, you no, know, you want to cut it up first, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Which one? Oh, this was Tony? Okay. Oh, watch his bum. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'm going to do the cutting because it looks like those guys at the bar just persuaded you with they a got few. Me this. They I got can me see this. that. And I think a few more. I'll, I'll that talk to them guy, later. That Nicky guy. Nicky guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we call him reliable. <laughs> In there. Okay. I found them in the garage. <laughs> so now I'm just, I have the chicken, now I'm just going to quarter it. Quarter it. That's 50 cents. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, you know? put the oregano in there? No, not yet. Oh, okay. I, I see you it just is. took no, care no, of it. No. Okay. <laughs> Can I get another one of these? <laughs> that Nicky guy okay. gave Okay, you want to put the chicken pieces yes. in? Ew. Careful, it's going to be very hot. Sure. I do this all the time. Did you read my cookbook? I got I got two cookbooks. I got I got this cookbook here that we're working on, and we made this special for Tony. It's uh, it's the uh, it's the what is it? Chicken Cacciatoni. Chicken Cacciatoni. This is. For and Tony. hopefully we'll find them. We're gonna get them. That's that, now what, that's what about what about the gizzards? Ugh. Do they go in this? Yes, yeah, right in there. Take <laughs> Funny how they pack them up there like that, you know? <laughs> it's like the mafia did that, you know? I don't know. Are you sure? You you feeling yourself tonight? Just feeling myself. <laughs> what? Oh, you dirty guy. I don't what, know. Why do they put those little straws in there? <laughs> it's Nikki's fault. Okay, now what about... We have to add a little wine, right? Yeah, put a little wine. Oh. All right, no, no. Oh. Put this. Oh. I think we need a new straw. Oh. No, forget it. It's too little. I think you anyway. might want to take care of that. And a, a little salt and pepper. A little salt and pepper? Little orange segments, good. 
That goes in the Peking chicken, doesn't it? Yes. Whose chicken? <laughs> where's, where's the wine? This, this calls for uh, wine. We got some wine right here. Well, alcohol. Oh, that's wine. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what is this they got? All right, so now what do you got in there now? We have everything but the tomatoes. Everything but tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that's looking. That that's looking. You want to put them? Looking good. You want to put them through the blender for me? Put. The, oh yes. The tomatoes. That Everybody. is. Over on this side. Oh, yes. This was the uh, the crisp crushed tomatoes that we used to do back in the but uh, when we used to okay. do it. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! oh. <laughs> oh. Aunt Millie, are you what sure you're all right? What kind of thing is that? Oh. All right, let me just turn this off. Crush it with your hands. You don't have to. I can crush this with my hands. Well, maybe I should do that. We always... Maybe I should do that. Well, it's, this is what we used to do when, when back when my mama taught me. Well, Chris crushed them in there. I crushed them in here. <laughs> it's good. I'm telling you, you're going to get some of this later. Don't worry. I think they'll be it's waiting be online, fine. I'm sure. That's right. That's right. Now we just add all the sauce like that, right? Beautiful. Okay. Is he doing a nice job up till now? Is he doing a good job? Christmas. Is that Chris Stockerson? Are you feeling all right, Aunt Millie? That, That's that what that I'm... Chris, 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 Chris oh, Stockerson. you know who I am. <laughs> he thinks he's with Chris Stockerson. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Well, it needs a little bit more heat now. How long should this simmer? A little while. What was that you just threw in? Uh, parsley. Oh, I thought it was your cigar. No, no, no. Oh, you still got it. Okay. Okay. So now, what do you what what do you what do you do this now? Well, this has to simmer, just simmer. like you taught me. That's right. And it's gonna simmer for about how long? Oh, it's got to simmer for about an hour and a half. One hour and a half. Till the chicken's nice and cooked. What's oh. the matter with you? Well, uh, well we're I'm, on I'm not, television. I think I'm, somebody's got the hands on my cigar. What kind of place is this? What are you nuts hanging out in a place like this? Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> Isn't he a thing here? <laughs> <laughs> Get him one of these, Nikki. Get him one of these. We're gonna have a party later. All right. This just has okay. to simmer now. So now all the ingredients are in, just well, the way you taught me. This what about, to, this, what about this other chicken here? Look at well, this. That, we're gonna wait till we find Tony for that. <laughs> you see, if you're mad, they put you in there. They cut them off, they put them in there. I seen it in the movies. <laughs> I seen it in that movies when it broke out. So, so what else you got to do now? That's it. Now we just have to let it simmer. Let and it I think simmer. we'll go to a commercial break and, and we'll then, come back then, right after this. And then we're going we're gonna to come back. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. It's a great day. <coughs> Hi, gang. Want to come on down here to the Mike and Tony show October 3rd for the best of rock and roll. We got voices here. There's no admission charge. Come on down. You don't want to miss voices. 6701 Bergen Line Avenue, West New York, October 3rd. Be here. Okay, we're back. Thank you. Okay, folks, we're back, and we're just going to make our final presentation now. I'm just waiting for Aunt Minnie to come out of the bathroom. Aunt Minnie, please. Please. It's only a half-hour show. Aunt Minnie, just watch a step, please. Oh, Aunt Minnie. Aunt Minnie, the, the, you got all the tissue stuck. What are you doing? I've never seen you like this. All right, Aunt Minnie, please. Uh, I'd like you to pick someone out of the audience just to come up and, uh, and share this dinner with you. Get the Nikki guy. Get the Nikki guy. Is Nikki out there? Get the Nikki guy. Get the Nikki guy. All right, I'm just going to fix you as a little plate. How you doing? I'm just, I'm just going to fix you as both the plate of our chicken catcher, Tony, which we're known. Oh, this looks fantastic. Wide and far. 
Go ahead, eat up and enjoy. Please don't drink no more. <laughs> Is that your cigar? <laughs> and Minnie, I, I don't smoke. I told you before not to smoke near Minnie, the stove. Not smoking. <laughs> He, he wiped me off. <laughs> he got me, got me, got me. Hey, let's have a glass of wine. Oh, another one, yes. <laughs> There's a little hair on your glass there. Oh, I, <laughs> I, no, I said the glass. I said the glass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he wiped me all those strings on my hair. He's gonna be touchy. Yeah. Easy with that, you. <laughs> bad, bad. All right, folks, I think that's enough for this show. Thank you very much. And we'll see you again next time. Thank you. Just write the Mike and Tony Show, 6701 Bergen Line Avenue, West New York, New Jersey, 07093. Thank The doctor will see you now. One night a year ago, Vanessa got high with some guy and forgot everything she learned about preventing AIDS. Now her life is the horror show. AIDS, another way drugs can kill. Thank you. Thank you. You know, we have to, we have to say uh, a, a big thank you for Aunt Millie coming down here. It was unfortunate that that big goofy guy got her a little tipsy uh, watching that football game there because she really is a good cook. I hope you did get the recipe and write it down. Sal did the best job he could with Aunt Millie under the circumstances. So we'd like to thank Sal Manila for coming down and cooking with the Aunt Millie. And uh, it was unfortunate that Tony, almo he almost materialized. That magician, he, 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 he had Tony, I seen him, but unfortunately, I guess he slipped with the sword. And uh, when he hit Tony's head, I don't know what happened, it just zoomed right down. So I'm a little worried about that. And uh, hopefully uh, Inspector Stratus Various will have some information for us next week about the uh, appearance or disappearance of Tony. And uh, I guess that's about all I got to say. I'm kind of out of time right now. So be with us next week, and we'll see what happened with Tony. So good night. Good night. Thank you. What she told me nearly made me lose my head. Pete Sampras comes up to serve. Jan Stevenson makes the drive. AC Green and Charles Smith pound the boards. Marcus Allen rushes up the middle. Jay Schrader with the touchdown. There are a lot of different parts to play in the American Red Cross. Play your part.